We're here today to talk about what you know about water. Do you know what wastewater is? Mm, toilet water. Do you know where that wastewater goes? It goes to the process of like the cleaning water. Our school practices a lot around being environmental stewards. We work on where our garbage goes. You know, we have presentations. We talk a lot about conservation. We talk a lot about recycling and all those things. Because fifth grade, the science standard is the water cycle. We started talking about the water planet. We know that the water cycle impacts where water comes from, but now where does water go? One of the things that was really essential, I thought, was bringing in an expert from the San Francisco PUC, very close to the day of our field trip, someone that would really understand how the treatment plant works and really pre-teach my students. They would really have an understanding of what they were gonna see. What, what should you put in your toilet at home? Number two, number one, and paper. That's it. You learn about the water cycle, but doesn't that natural water cycle kind of leave out the part where we use it? Our part in the water cycle as part of the San Francisco Water Department, the Public Utilities Commission, is to make sure that before it evaporates back up again, before it goes into the ocean and evaporates back up, it's clean. Are you guys excited? Yeah. Who's excited? Give me. All right. I've been really excited because this is one of the things that I personally love, and I took this tour so that I could learn about it and bring it to you, and now you have it here in the classroom, and this process here is exactly what you're going to see I'm hoping that the kids are inspired to see the beauty and the wonderfulness of science, even in poop. It's very important for the teachers and students uh, to take these tours because they help out with water pollution prevention, what to flush down the toilet. We talk about the equipment that's used to clean the water and the job to see what the employees do, what kind of degrees they have in order to uh, work here at the PC. I think one of the biggest things that kids take away from the tour are what to flush down the toilet, the color of raw sewage, how raw sewage look, and how we clean it, and then how we return it back into the Bay or the uh, Pacific Ocean. My favorite part about doing these tours is looking at the faces of the kids. And when we show them the sludge, the odor is funny. It was a really fun trip, and I really recommend it to the kids. It was really impressive to see how the cleaning process works. You get to learn what they do with your water and how it comes out of your faucet. Name one thing that you learned today, because remember you're the ambassadors and the stewards now of the environment. Um, I would tell my mom to not throw bad things to the toilet. I love the outdoor classroom and anything that has to do with your real life experience ties into the curriculum is an experience that I believe students really gain more depth and knowledge about. So I thought that was really an important cycle, you know, sort of to understand everything about water beyond just the water cycle. And I think it would be a trip I would continue to take every year, and I hope to encourage other teachers to take it. My hope is that learning about the wastewater treatment plant, that my students will take that knowledge along with their environmental understanding already of trash and landfill, that it all is part of saving the planet, saving the resources, and build on that and become the ambassadors in the future.